and welcome to or back to my channel so if you're not new you've probably seen this place before and you know what it's called and you know all about it um but if you're new welcome to shady creek i actually have several episodes on kind of the process of building this place um i have like building the barn and then the entrance and the outdoor arena and then the indoor arena and all of that kind of stuff so if you want to see the first episode i will link it in the description um but if you're not new i have added a lot of a few different things since the last episode just because i wanted this tour to be a little more interesting and so that you would just see the same thing um, but it's finally completely finished, and I just wanted to give you a tour so that you can kind of see everything and how it turned out. So, let's go ahead and hop right in, and I'll show you around the complete Shady Creek. And cue the fun montage video. I'm not the girl that I used to be sometime. I'm more the worst. I'm the what I once was. I don't believe in love. Hey, hey. Okay, so before I show you around a little bit myself, I wanted to let you know that my next video is going to be a Q&A because I've never done one before. Um, but if you have any questions or even assumptions about me, let me know down in the comments and I will try and answer them in my next video. Okay, so let's just start at the front and down that road goes to my house, which you guys already know. Um, but, so I added this, like, first little entrance here. I didn't really include this in the episodes, I don't think. I just built it on my own. Um, but it's just, like, the first so that you kind of get, like, the idea that, like, in the entrance. Um, but this down here is, I feel like, the more official, like, entrance to the whole place. Um, but I also have just, like, added a lot of new trees and landscaping. And I also, um, made the road turn and that mountain, there's still some stuff over there, so don't look too close. But this mountain right here was all, it looked kind of like that one over there and it wasn't completely done. So I did that and I'll just have to kind of figure out where this road is going to go. Um, but I added some little, um, a little hill right there and then all of these trees. Um, but let's go back over here and I'll get to that over there in a second. But here's the entrance, which you guys, if you're not new, then you've already seen it. But if you're new, there's just this little, all these little bushes and then the gate and we come in. And I do have some horses in here. There's two of them. But here is the main barn and the only barn um but it's quite nice let's head inside and i'll show you the inside of it so when we first come in we have the little um cross ties tack up area there are four there are eight um so a lot of space to tack up and you don't have to like wait for someone to get out of the cross ties or something like that um, and then here are the stalls. So on this side, I don't have the tack boxes. And then down there, I do have some tack boxes, but those tack box, tack boxes aren't even finished yet because they don't have sides. Um, but anyway, so here are the stalls and I do have some horses in here. So we have a beautiful, this one's actually really cute. I really like him. And then, um, this one looks just like Cosmo. <laughs> but it's not. Cosmo's at home. And here's this one, which is really cute. I love the the bald faces. I haven't really seen many of those because I haven't, like, really explored what all the coats look like in this texture pack. Um, but there's one, and it has a bald face. So cute. And then here's one. It's really pretty. 
and I think that's it because there's none in there and none in there but okay so like I was saying the tag boxes aren't finished and unfortunately they don't say Shady Creek they just say um Heritage Hill because I already made these and I didn't really feel like and I was having well I was having difficulties using the fill command because these are um large maps if you didn't know and I just like draw on them on the maps and then put them on the oops <laughs> the tack boxes um but anyway in here is the tack slash um feed room so these are like the little lockers if you ever board your horse here here i can't speak um you'll get your own locker and then over here are the grain and feed bins um in here they're all empty but you just put all the grain in here, but right now there's nothing in there. And then up here, I think, are just like little treat cabinets that you can put treats in, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior of <clears throat> the barn, but it's quite nice. It's very open, very airy. It feels, feels quite large. The aisle is really wide. I usually have like kind of small, tiny aisles, but these, I just, I want it to be like a big, nice, luxurious barn. So, um, and then if we come out this way, we have the outdoor arena, which is quite nice. And I just have like some little, a little course set up. I haven't actually used it yet. I'm so excited to bring my horses here and ride them. <clears throat> But over here, there's there's not really anything over there, just a little path that goes around to the pastures over there. Um, but this is our wonderful outdoor arena. It's, um, I would say it's pretty large. It's not huge, because I've made some arenas that are like really big, but this one's a good size. So if we continue our journey out this way, we have the beautiful indoor arena, which is like my favorite thing ever. I just love the way it looks. Um, and then I just have some poles and things that I set up here because I didn't really know what to put like in this space. So I just, I just left it. It doesn't really need anything. <clears throat> but inside we have some jumps. I want to set up some more in here, but I just put these in here just because there weren't any and it looks better when there's jumps in it. But yeah, it's it's really pretty. I really like the way it turned out. So, very happy with that. And this jump is really cute. I like it. Um, but yes, so let's continue on. <clears throat> if you come over here, I actually built this gate and I totally forgot that I have a gate on over there as well. Um, so, I just made like a little path that goes to the gate. And I actually made this pasture bigger. It was really small and it like ended right here and it was like that. So I had a lot of space right here. So I just decided to <clears throat> make it bigger. Um, but if you come down this path right here, I added a round pin, which was much needed because I haven't really built a round pin in a long time actually. So I kind of wanted to build one and I kind of just threw it together. If it's not like a perfect circle, then <laughs> don't worry about it. But I just um, stacked fences and went all the way around. And here's this horse. I just put her in here because it, I don't know, I just did. But she's really pretty. So if you want to claim her, um, I might, <clears throat> I want to start like adding y'all's horses to my barn. I think that could be fun. So if you want this horse and if you want to name it, comment down below whoever comments first I guess I don't know <laughs> um but over here I just put some hay bales and then I kind of tried to like lock off the area of Shady Creek um and then just added some trees but don't look over there I didn't really put much over there I just just kind of left it um but this is pretty much it for like over here so that's that, but if we head back over this way, I will show you um, the pastures, which in my last episode, y'all saw that I built this one, but then I actually added these two new pastures right here, and then I added a little <clears throat> um, shed thingy. So if we go over here, here's some more ones that I spawned. I just think this one's so cute. Love this little guy. And then this one 
is really pretty. So if you guys want these, then... <laughs> But this one's so cute. Like, I just love him. <clears throat> or her. I don't know. So, if we continue on, we come down here, and I actually spawned two little fjord buddies, just because I thought that they were cute, and they needed, I don't know, this pasture just needed some little buddies. In here, we just have some hay where all the horses can come and snuggle up if it's storming or something. So, if we continue on down here... All the way down here, I added a trailer parking area because I just thought, like, I didn't really know what to put in this space down here. I was a little bit clueless, but I thought that a trailer parking area would be quite nice. So, here it is. Um, this trailer is actually, this one, I feel like it's more for looks. You can't actually really put any horses inside of it but this one is more realistic it's a three horse trailer and you can put them right here and then oops don't look at that <laughs> and then right here and then I have a little hay net hanging up but what I really like about it is if you come over here we have a little um area for where you can put your tack and then I have a saddle pad right here and then these poles are meant to be like saddle racks so you can put your saddles on these little holders so if you're going to a show or something you can pack all up um okay so that's actually I feel like that's pretty much it here's a little overview so you can see the trailer park is over there and then the pastures the arena and then the indoor arena and all of the things but that's that's pretty much it for Shady Creek. I really love how it turned out. And yes, it's not like <clears throat> the biggest place ever. Well, I mean, I've, it's pretty good size, but I've built, actually, I don't know. I think it's, it's pretty big. Anyway, um, that's going to be it for today's video. But thank you so much for watching. And remember to let me know if you have any questions or assumptions about me down in the comments. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Um, but also, I always hate it when YouTubers do this and they're like, subscribe, subscribe. But I would love it if you would subscribe and it would just really help me out. Um, <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!